Hi guys, I just want to begin this video with reminding you to subscribe, pay it forward and share. And in addition, I'd like to say that sometimes there are just no right or wrong versions of every story. However, we all have one. There is no black, there is no white, but there's always an in-between. And when you find yourself in between making a decision that is clearly a black or white decision, such as rather to stay with someone who is not good for you, someone who does not help bring out the best in you, someone whose emotions and thoughts toward you are not the same as yours toward them. Someone who's feeding off of you and you're pouring into them and you keep coming up empty. One of my videos, a young lady was commenting on it and she mentioned that it was like one or two o'clock in the morning and she was up watching this video to find solace, to comfort herself as she was trying to make a serious decision, a decision as to whether to stay in a relationship with an abusive narcissist person. Narcissists don't only have to be physically abusive. They are emotionally, mentally, physically draining altogether. Mental and physical can come together and connect when the mental abuse starts to weigh in on the body and causes high blood pressure and weight loss and weight gain and food addictions. I know because I was married to one and I barely stayed in the marriage. I was there in and out trying to figure out how to handle this snake and I don't like snakes and neither should you. So when you can tell that something about that person is wrong and you know that he may have a history of having issues in relationships, he's not being forthcoming with you. He's saying things, but he's doing other things and with malice no empathy, no sorrow. I mean, he's putting your life at risk. He's putting your children's lives at risk. He's putting your marriage, your relationship at risk. At some point, you have to realize that if someone is doing things to you that could potentially cause damaging impacts in your life, destroying you, not strengthening you, just lifting you up to let you down again and again and again. How long will you allow this to happen before you say enough? I'm not going to settle. I'm not going to tolerate this. You cannot destroy me. You're a distraction. Love doesn't die a natural death. Love has to be killed either by neglect or narcissism. That is how love can die. And I promise you, if someone has taken it out of your body, out of your strength, to not allow you to feel as though you can focus on the relationship. You can focus on school. You can focus on work. Everything you're doing is a struggle. You're struggling to, to exist. You're struggling to wake up. You're struggling to get things done. The marriage feels like it has you in, in bondage. That's not what love is. Love doesn't put you in bondage. Love doesn't put break your heart. Love doesn't have you up late in the middle of the night crying. Love doesn't do that. Love doesn't hurt. Love doesn't harm you. Love doesn't bring you to levels of, of shame and confusion and the inability to, to smile 
And when people see you and they know you're newly married or you're in this supposed new relationship, do you think that these people can't look at you and tell that you're broken, that your heart is damaged? Do you think that we can't see that when we see you? Sweetheart, if a man is breaking you, that is laying beside you, eating together and breaking bread with you, holding you, supposed to love you, what won't he do? How can somebody look you in the face and claim to hold your heart, claim to honor, love, protect, and to be a provider for you? but at the same time is trying to destroy you, manipulate you, turn people against you, demolish your career, harm your children, displace you, put you out your home. What more can he do? He or she, what more can they do? Sorry, 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 but you continue to do it. That's not sorry. That's someone who's enjoying seeing you hurt. And narcissists tend to say things without thinking or intentionally say very stupid things to you. Things that make you believe that you're foolish or something's wrong with you. All of a sudden, your mind is going. They want you to think something is wrong with you. I encourage you to look on the past videos that I've done that have gone into detail, that have broken down scenarios one by one. This video is just an overall emotion jerker so that you can chime in together. Women, you have children, you have sisters, you have cousins, you have jobs, you have school to go to, you're educators, you're, you're raising families. You do not have the time nor the energy to be broken. You can't do these things broken. And if you think you can do them broken, good luck. You cannot afford to put anybody before you to the point where you have nothing left to give. When you have nothing left to give, then what happens? What happens when you no longer can pour into you? When you no longer can pour into you, then you need to get help. And we're here to make sure that we can help you heal. And healing begins when you accept that it's required. And we're here, we have a sliding scale fee. Email me at northernduchess at icloud.com. Arrange a consultation, we do it over the phone. We travel, we have seminars, we have meetings, we have groups where other women can all meet together. Come get on one accord where you can find out how to begin healing and get the keys that you need to begin to start walking out of these relation knots because they're not relationships. They're relation knots, K-N-O-T-S. Someone has taken your heart and torn it into a knot and binded it with theirs. And that would be fine and great if somebody took your heart and, and connected it with theirs. But when somebody ties your heart in a knot and they're no longer there to help you work the kinks out or they were never there to help you work the kinks out, what is the point? There comes a time when you have to make a decision. Who is it going to be? You or them? My suggestion is that you choose you. Please feel free to email us so that we can get you on the line with someone who has likewise had to make the decision that you're considering making today. Make an appointment 
Help is available. You don't have to stay like this. You don't have to live like this. And most importantly, you will never regret making a decision that will change your life for the better. Have a great day.